Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another TEW 2020 experiment video here today as we look to answer a question regarding a topic that, to me at least, has been brought up more and more recently, somehow, despite the fact it being happened 22 years ago, but fair enough. I mean, it's still a big thing. So let's use TEW to see and correct it. What if Bret Hart never had to retire? Uh, after getting injured at the end of 1999. So, I mean, you can headcanon this in two ways. You could do it as, what if Goldberg was a really safe worker, but I don't know if you can suspend your disbelief that far, or you could just do it as, what if Bret Hart just never wrestled him? That works as well. So we've wound the clock back uh, to Monday, week 1, January 2000. Now, of course, uh, Bret Hart picked up the match in a match with Goldberg. Uh, he got that injury in Starcade 1999, which was in December of 1999. Uh, so we just gone January 2000, very close. I have made Bret Hart the peak of physical health. Everything was at 100. Uh, I mean, this is probably the best way to demonstrate that by just going here. Uh, Bret, Bret Hart, here he is. Come on, load up for me, Bret. Come on, come on, here he is, Bret Hart. Physical health, 100, 100, 100, 100. Peak physical fitness. This is peak male form, everybody. Bret Hart in 1999 slash 2000. Active, no injury, no hope of retirement anytime soon, I don't think. So what we're going to do now is just simulate forward. Bret Hart is currently in World Championship Wrestling, WCW. He's one of their major stars. Goldberg's their figurehead. Hopefully he doesn't injure anyone else in this universe. Don't keep your fingers crossed for too much. So without further ado, let's simulate forward to as close as possible to the end of Bret Hart's career. Uh, when he decides to end it, how old is he? He's 42. So he's still getting on a bit. He's the WCW World Champion though. How long will he hold the belt? How long will he stay in WCW? Will he go back to WWE? Who knows? Let's go find out. Let's simulate forward and look to answer the question, what if Bret Hart what if Bret Hart never had to retire in 2000 following that match with Goldberg? That's a very lengthy title, though. So let's just go, what if Bret Hart was never forced to retire? And here we are, Monday, week one, January 2005. Chris Jericho is the wrestler of the year. Uh, All Japan Pro Wrestling is the best company in the world. And Degeneration X is the tag team of the year. Match of the year was the Hardy Boys versus DX on Raw is War. And the show of the year was AGPW One Night Special. I don't know, they're the second biggest, but still pretty big, let's be honest. WCW, I'm not really seeing you, babe. So I'll assume that you've done a Tony Khan and gone out business. You have. Uh, I, I'll leave you in suspense about Bret Hart whilst I look for why. Financial problems. This happens in all my experiences, either WCW or AEW, someone's going bust. Let's have a look at Bret Hart, who has retired from wrestling. He is staying in wrestling as a manager, commentator, backstage personality, road agent. He is a master of all trades, is the hitman. Uh, he extended his deal with WCW, uh, he retired August 2004. So he had an extra three-ish years in him. Fair enough, he wanted to call it a day after that, but you know, fair enough. Title wise, what do you get up to? Oh god, WCW. Any of these titles recent? Nope, he won no titles. His WCW title reign went to June 2000. They made 14 defenses of that, so fair enough to him. Bret Hart called it a day. Match wise, in those extra three ish years he had, he wrestled god, what is that 195 times? It was pretty good 176 wins to 19 losses. Won the vast majority of his matches. Average rating of 75, so pretty high quality. Highest rating of an 86. Um, when did that 86 happen? Uh, that 86 was in 2000. He didn't wrestle a single match in 2003, 4, 5, but fair enough. Uh, what was his highest rated match? His highest rated match was on WCW New Blood Rising, August 2000, where he beat Sid Vicious. And title-wise, he lost the title to Sting. Sting defeated Bret Hart, the total package, and DDP to win the title on an episode of Nitro. He had plenty of matches. I don't think... I, oh God, the thing I want to see, I guess, is did he actually wrestle Big Bill at all in this universe? Or did he just think, you know what? 
feeling in the back of your head, I'll leave it. No, they fought a few times. A tag match in on Thunder in July 2000. Goldberg and Hogan defeated Scott Hall and Bret Hart in WO 2000. Fatal 4-Way on Nitro in September 2000. Bret Hart defeated Steiner, Goldberg and Flair. Thunder 2000. Uh, Goldberg and Hogan defeated Bret Hart and Kevin Nash. Bret Hart trying with Nash instead of Hall and still losing. A uh, triple threat, Bret Hart, Rick Flair and Goldberg, Nitro 2000. Bret Hart at Goldberg and Bam Bibelow in 2000. Goldberg, Bret Hart, one-on-one. -on -one. They had one one-on-one -on -one match at Slambury, May 2001. Goldberg defeated Bret Hart to retain the WCW World Heavyweight title. And Bret Hart, he oh God, he decides to retire in May 2004. And what I'll be interested to see, actually, is when WCW went bust. WCW went bust in September 2002. So... Yeah, he took a while out of wrestling, and then he came back. Well, he didn't, really. He, he, WCW went bust. He left WCW, took a while, no WAF, called it a day. Achievement-wise, 69, 86, 101, so still high quality. Bret Hart. How did he do? I mean, he's done pretty well, hasn't he? He's in WBWC, BCW now, as a everything. And with his extra years... He put on near 200 matches. He barely lost. Hot, pretty high quality. Stayed as far away from Bill Goldberg as possible. Bret Hart. You just have to feel happy for him. He's, you know, he, he, I feel like it's being mentioned more and more. Uh, his, his unhappiness is how I'll have nicely phrase it towards Bill Goldberg for ending his career. The excellence of execution. But Bret Hart, a few more years, used it wisely. WCW, uh, what happened, world title wise, Bret Hart, oh god, they had quite a few champions, didn't they, Bret Hart, no, oh god, Bret Hart lost it in June 2000, and all these titles until September 2002, so all these champions are in a 26 month frame, Buff Bagwell, Jeff Hart, Jeff Jarrett, not Hart, <laughs> uh, Sting Goldberg, vacated, Horace Hogan, Booker T, Sting, Juventa Guerrero, Berlin, final champion, Booker T. That's so many champions in a 26-month period. That's crazy. They introduced a, they have a women's title. Well, they didn't use it, actually, so they, I don't know if we can say they did. The United States, Billy Kidman, The Cat. I just finished my WCW Lives experiment as well, so it's interesting seeing the champions here. Uh, the tag champ being traded back and forth between two tag teams. That's just standard WCW practice at this point, I think. Whilst WWE, Bret Hart, choosing to stay away, fair enough. Vince McMahon's still alive. The Rock's still the figurehead. Your champions, uh, well, your Royal Rumble winners, let's do that first. The Rock, Jericho, Stone Cold, Stone Cold, The Rock, fair enough. And the WWF Championship in this period has had even more champions than WCW, but it has been alive for two years longer. And the champions were Stone Cold lost it to The Rock, pretty standard. Actually, actually yeah. Big Show lost to the Stone Cold, to the Rock, to Stone Cold, to Chris Jericho. Kane, the Rock, Triple H, Chris Jericho, RVD, Stone Cold, The Undertaker, Triple H, Big Show, Jericho, Undertaker, Mankind, Vacant, The Rock, Triple H. And your current champions, Rikishi. We love that. 85 pop. Rikishi's rocking it. Go on, Big Rick. Absolutely killing it, my man. Incredible. Incredible. I don't know what else to say, really. This episode, this episode is probably going to be one of the shorter experiment videos because there's not much else to say. WCW didn't stay along, around too long, and even when it was around, Bret Hart, I mean, he, he fought a lot of matches, he didn't win many titles, and then it died, and his options were go Japan, no thank you, go to WWF, hell no, I'll just retire, and now he's just a jack of all trades for Border City Wrestling. He's their biggest star understandable he's contesting with disco fury and big titan over here but fair enough fair enough fair enough that's gonna be it for today though short episode today not much else to say let me know what you thought in the comments down below how do you think bret hart did you think he used his extra few years in wrestling well do you think I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Do you think he used his time well? No titles to his name. WCW's AEW going bankrupt. Again, they go bankrupt a lot though. That's understandable. Good quality matches. A lot of them. 
booked very strongly, had a good time in his fight in the end of his career. His final ever match was Bret Hart and Brian Adams teaming up to beat Sting and Eric Bischoff. So I'm sure it will all warm our hearts to know that Bret Hart's last ever match was a DQ win against Eric Bischoff. Now, that's it for today, though. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on how Bret Hart did. And while you're done there, let me know any other experiments you would like to see done. Always love to hear what you would want to see. As well as that, if you have enjoyed, then please do leave a like and subscribe for more. And as always, I just want to say thank you for watching.